Do you ever have a day when you just don't seem to accomplish anything at all? The day comes and goes and you really haven't done anything. That happens to me a lot. When I go to bed before I fall asleep, I always do a review of the day. And too often I find myself thinking about all the things I had wanted to get done and didn't and promising myself that tomorrow I'll do better. We all create to-do lists, either in our mind or on paper. It makes us feel a little more motivated as we think that being organized that way will get more done. But really, isn't that just a frustrating practice? I mean, when I make plans of what I'm going to do, it's almost inevitable that something else will come up that keeps me from getting it done. And sometimes the things that come up are urgent or unforeseen and need to be taken care of in the moment. But of course, some of the things are fun choices like watching a movie instead or taking a little nap first. It seems like so often we fixate on the things we have to do or the things we haven't done. We are our own worst critics berating ourselves for not being perfect, not reaching our goals, not measuring up to expectations, either our own or others. And in doing so, we forget all the things that we have accomplished and how great we really are. Maybe instead of to-do lists, we should be writing to-da lists. Lists of our accomplishments, big or small, And by writing a ta-da list that celebrates you, you can shift your focus and your perspective in a more positive direction. At the end of the day, we need to start making a ta-da list. I didn't know that was actually a thing until I looked up the definition of ta-da, and I found that there are actually blogs and websites out there about ta-da lists. Who knew? And apparently, Tada has been around since the early 1900s. So let's start with the definition. Tada is an exclamation, an imitation of a fanfare, two notes of a trumpet, typically used to call attention to an impressive entrance or a dramatic announcement or something remarkable, as in Tada. The Cambridge English Dictionary says that tada is used when something appears or happens in a way that is impressive, surprising, or pleasing, as in sit back in the seat and press the button and tada, it's a bed. Or tada, Rosemary announced as she brought in the birthday cake. Merriam Webster tells us it's usually meant to be kind of funny or silly and is often stylized to reflect how it is said, as in, ta-da! When spoken, it is often accompanied by a gesture toward the thing being presented, as in, ta-da! It's also something a magician might say, just before pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Or when you do something fabulous and you say, ta-da! Wasn't that great? You may clap now. Other words for tada are okay or there you go, and of course the French version, voila. If you were to sit down right now and write up a tada list, not just from today's accomplishments, but in your lifetime, would it take you very long to find at least 10 things? Try it, really. And don't forget the huge accomplishments you might not think of, like Improving your mental health through self-care. Establishing a career. Keeping a job. Raising an incredible son or daughter or more kids. (laughs) Running a half marathon or even a whole one. Or just doing a walk around the block. Comforting someone in their dying moments. Earning a college degree or graduating high school. Sharing your time and money with worthy causes. 
Like a lot of people, I'm my own worst critic too. Writing a to-da list helped me take my mind off all the things on my to-do list and congratulate myself for the things I've accomplished. That is a boost to the self-esteem. It's important to celebrate our accomplishments, even the small ones. It's encouraging to see our progress. While to-do lists can be depressing, especially when you haven't started on them, to-da lists are uplifting and motivating. Start working on your to-da list today. And remember, the accomplishments don't have to be significant. Even if all you managed to do was pull yourself out of bed and show up at work on a bad day, that's an accomplishment worth noting. Read it. Write it, read it, think about it, and then give yourself a pat on the back. I'll close by showing you this mini poster because it's delightful. It reads, when God made me, he said, ta-da! Think about that today.